All right, Rob, big story uh, in the Washington Post about Jerry Jones. And it wrote about how, well, one of the, the, the things that's gotten a lot of people's attention is that they ran a photo uh, from obviously decades ago where a 14-year-old From Jerry 1957, Jones, yeah. Yeah, was in the crowd uh, of students, white students who were denying black six black students access into North Little Rock High School. Now, this, of course, was uh, just a few weeks before the the famous integration of Little Rock Central High School, when the nine black students integrated Little Rock Central. Chris, you remember the, the picture of that little girl by herself? What a courageous little girl. Yep. Do you remember that? They're screaming at her and all that. Yep. And, ugh. Oh. Yep. Whenever I see that, it's still just, you know, and here oh, yeah. she is just trying to go to school. No question. No question about it. Um, now, what is your, you know, do you have, what is your reaction about, not, uh, about seeing the photo? Not not shocked at all. Like, like 1957 and Little Rock. And just, it's just surprising that they got a picture of him and it's him. There's no doubt, right, right Chris? Him. That's you can him. see it. It looks like him. It looks like, at a 14 years old, it looks like him. So it's just funny when you look at things in history uh, and just, you know, where people are on what side of history and different things and, you know, knowing whether something was right or wrong or at that point or probably during that time. Those, those were the times of the day, Chris. You know, like those were the times he was living in and, what people were doing and 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 whatnot, and he obviously got caught up. I just wonder sometimes when I think about like people's beginnings and their thoughts or whatever was going on in their family or in their house, Chris, or what was said or whatever, you know. And now and then you become a very successful and rich person, and you know, and now you're paying paying these same black people millions of dollars. Do you know what I mean? Right. Not not as if it's a charity or anything. Like he's doing something special. They make him a lot of now money. They earn it. They right. earn it. Right. So I don't want to make it like, you know, he's he's oh he's a great guy. No, he's paying them because that's the what the market bears. It has right. nothing to do with anything else. Yes, and he wants to win football games. Let's just keep it real. Right. And if those All black right. guys couldn't help if him win football games, he wouldn't have him on the team. I, I say it all the time, Robin. We've we've talked about it on the show. It's sad because it really shouldn't be this way. The history of the country is sad. Let's just it's worse than sad. It's tragic. Um but sports has it it's certainly arguable, Rob, with all due respect to Dr. Martin Luther King and the civil rights movement and all the brave people that marched and fought and you know sit-ins and were killed and just did all the things they they did to bring about integration and equal rights. Um, sports may have done more than anything in this country to bring about the degree, and we, we still got a ways to go, but the degree of racial inclusivity and, and equality that we do have in this country. That, that's why we hold there's no that's doubt. why we hold black athletes to such a high standard. You know what I mean? As far as like how we revere them, Chris, because of they were like the ones who we saw publicly break through, you know, like uh push through. We we saw the movie, we already know about Jackie Robinson and all the what people had to endure. And um they were and, able to 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 break through oftentimes first. Right. And like you said, it if I mean, if they hadn't been, if African Americans hadn't been such great athletes, I firmly believe that we would not be as far along racially as a country as we are. Jerry Jones, if he wants to work in the NFL, he has to have black athletes. Period. Bear Bryant. One of the greatest college coaches ever. One of the most legendary college coaches. He Robert. couldn't win it. He couldn't stop he winning. Was, he, he was winning national championships at Alabama. They played USC. Sam Bam Cunningham ran all over his team, and USC destroyed him. And he went out and started recruiting black players. Right. There, that's it. 
And again, it's shameful. It shouldn't be about sports. It should be about respecting your fellow human being. We all created an image of God, regardless of your race, your ethnicity, your nationality. That's what it should be about. But there's no doubt that sports, um, unfortunately, it's been sports that's played such a big role. Now, Rob, Jerry Jones, here's what he said is quoted in the Daily Mail. He's 80 years old now. Here's what he said about the photo. I don't know that I or anybody anticipated or had a background of knowing what was involved. It was more a curious thing. Now, I don't know. I don't know Jerry Jones now. I certainly obviously didn't know him anything back then. I will. And he I, I don't know what his racial views were. Um, he is in, if you look at the photo, I mean, he does look like he's looking to see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, you know, he's not like visibly right right. from just that picture. Now that doesn't mean he wasn't adamantly against integration. And and that was the, that was the news of the day. You know what I mean? That was Chris, you notice even from the standpoint of, even from a religious standpoint and like the churches and, you know, like they, they weren't in, uh, in, in church being against segregation and you know what I mean? And saying the churches this stuff. in the South right. were heretical, meaning false belief, false doctrine is what they were promoting because they were promoting white supremacy. Right. That's that there were 100%. not everyone. Maybe, no, no, but, no, a lot but you of know them, what I mean? Right. Right. I mean, they, their stories where, People would leave church and go and lynch a black person. Story like the people would, as in a mob, leave the church excitedly to go to a lynching. Those are that's in books. And so it really wasn't Christianity that was being taught. It was white supremacy more than Christianity. And so that is it's it's is documented that the schools in the South, that's what they taught. They they taught you know lies about slavery that it was a benevolent institution and thing you know blacks were cursed and things like that all types of nonsense and so yeah that's how people were raised. What's interesting, Rob, is Jerry Jones and and I mean look Jerry Jones, African American players, Rob. They they you know they all seem to have great relationships with him. So I'm not going to say anything about him like this means he's racist or anything. He may have been that back then. I don't know. No, but there's he, nothing there he, for us right, to look at. He may have had and, a change and, and of no, heart, right, too. Right. I mean, that's the thing. People, people progress. People progress. Uh, people what? grow. People progress. People yep. learn. People change. So I'm not going to judge him by that photo. That, as you said, the photo isn't, you don't, you can't tell it's really not defining. his attitude, anything. It, 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 right, now, if he that. was holding up a sign, Chris, with the right. N-word, right. or, or we had audio video and he's yelling, at the students or whatever, get the f out of here or right. whatever. Then, then there's, you know, whenever we Absolutely. hear it for ourselves, that's Chris, that's totally different. Well, it's interesting that a few things, right? One, it shows you how because a lot of times when we talk about these back in the day, right? And I think a lot of whites do it, like they talk about it like it was ancient history. Now, this is a man who, yeah, granted, he's eighty years old. But he is still very much a part of American pop culture, right? He is an influential American, and there are many who are younger than him who may have had racist attitudes or grew up in this type of environment. And you know what, that Chris? Are still, if they're hiring people yes. or not hiring people, he, he hasn't had a black coach in his tenure as the owner of the Cowboys. But but you no, know what? No, no. I'm not saying that means he's racist. But I'm just saying he hasn't hired one black coach. But head but, coach. but your point is well taken because those people are still alive. Yes, the people yes. who were at the schools or or denying black people, or telling them to use uh, the separate water fountains or whatever it was, denying them employment, Chris. Right. Uh, 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 yeah, because that's know, the thing. Like, there like were people they're not, they're not all dead. They're, they're still alive. They're yes, still alive. Those people then. are alive, and you just said it. He's 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 a big time big shot who influences a lot of people. So right. so and, and that's why I really believe you know in about I don't know 20 years, 30 years, whatever, at some point that that generation and those people who live through those moments won't be around anymore. Well, they won't. No, I know, but I'm just right. saying, but they are still here. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, it, it's interesting. And, um, you know, I always, Rob, we've seen pictures of blacks who were lynched and things like that. Those, and those are horrific. Some of them. Those are horrific Absolutely. pictures. Absolutely. And, and, and when horrific. you see them, Rob, sometimes the people around them, the whites, are standing there like they're holding up a trout that they caught in the ocean. You know what I mean? Like, it's a sport. And there are, and in some of these photos, whether it's a lynching or it was the students trying to integrate the school, you see women, white women, older, young, whatever, yelling at the top of their lungs, vitriol, right? Somebody that you would look at and think that's just a nice person, nice young citizen. And they are yeah, there. You can see the hatred in their oh, face. It's, 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 you know what it's, I mean? And, and, and the other ones that I've seen, Chris, and I don't want to get you know so graphic, but even in some of the lynchings as well, like picnics are going on at a park. Right. Like right. it is just, right. and kids are there. And the, yep. if you've never seen those pictures, it's important to look at them only from the standpoint to know what really was going on and never forget that stuff. I, I really right. believe that. I, I don't yeah. believe you should shield yourself, you know what I mean, totally from things. And I think like. it's about standing up for what's right. Because most people, I think, will go along with the the general thought of the day. Yes. Because right? it's a mob I mean, mentality. You know that. Right. right. These are people who were viewed as upstanding citizens, moral citizens. Like you said, some went to church. Most went to church, let's face it. And yet, because they went along with the spirit of the day, as wrong as it may have been, that tragedy took place. And so um, I, it's important. Stand up for what is right, um, even regardless of what the society is saying.